Dive site review, Flinders Pier, Mornington Peninsula, Victoria, Australia. This site is very famous for sea dragons and all the creatures. So it's an old fishing pier and you can see all the pylons here with lots of amazing life growing on them. And what is it famous for? Well, all the creatures from fish to cephalopods to nudibranchs to weedy sea dragons. And so it's a very popular dive site. And when you've got big groups or lots of people coming through, make sure you get there on a day before all the people come through because unfortunately, even though people may try not to disturb the, sub, to disturb the substrate and stir it up, we can accidentally sometimes stir it up a little bit. So just another reason on these high traffic dive sites to keep our disturbance of the ground and the substrate and the creatures to an absolute minimum. Now, you can access the pier by parking near uh, the beginning of it, on the land there obviously, and gearing up there and walking down to a little dive platform and jumping in off there. Or you can actually go in straight off the beach and swim all the way out. It's probably only 200 metres or even 150 metres out to the end. And off the very end is this little yacht that went down about 25 years ago. There's a little bit left of it and it's now providing good habitat for these bullseyes and an enemy is another little creature is living on it. And at low tide, or even at high tide, if you're a good freediver, you can do the whole site as a freediver, snorkeler, or it's great for scuba. And it, it's great for photography because there's so many different creatures, like this little Verco's nudie. And you can see those two little, what look like eyes at the top of his head. They're actually not eyes. They are sensory organ called rhinophores, and they're used for taste and smell. And the fluffy things on his back there, they're actually gills. So there's a lot of people coming to this site and there's a lot of photographic opportunities. So you've really got to be careful not to disturb the creatures as best you can. Try to maintain some form of social distance from them. And there's also fishermen. So you can see they're sending down a fishing line here and I've just uh, filmed them just to give you guys an example. And so just off the edge of the pier, they're just dropping a line and hook right there. So for divers, there is a little bit of a hazard in that. So just be careful when you're going outside the pier to not get hooked up by a fisher. And what are they targeting? Things like these squid, which are absolutely gorgeous when you can get close enough to them. And what you can get close to is the sea dragons. Now, they're very shy and they can go and hide in the weed and plenty of people go down there and don't find them. So when you do find them, please don't disturb them. Don't ever touch sea dragon or really any other sea creatures and try to film them or photograph them without disturbing. I've actually put my camera down and this one has swum past. I was actually not there right in front of that sea dragon. I was in front of this one. You can see behind me the scuba diver there with the, with the smooth ray. And these rays, they get quite big up to two metres across. So look, it's a great dive site, suit beginner to advanced, and I really recommend it to everybody.